My brothers went to war over control of our land. Creon will not allow any citizen to bury Polynices. This is outrageous. My brothers fought a war in which both died. It is such a tragic event for me to bear. Creon's speech makes me angry. I wish to bury my brother anyway. I do not agree with his decree. I am not afraid of danger if it means death. It will not be the waste of deaths. I have to bury him. I love my brothers who died in an unnecessary war, but I will bury him, and if I must die, I say that this crime is holy. Creon found out that I buried my brother, and I do not care what happens to me. I did the right thing. Creon is not strong enough to stand in my way. I was brought to a vault for my crime. I am getting scared now. I don't want to die here. Creon, don't do this. You will remember what things I suffer, and at what man's hands, because I would not transgress the laws of heaven. I am killing myself. I don't want to live on this planet with unjust laws. I prefer the rules of heaven instead. Creon shall pay. The great Tiresias once said that Creon shall pay for him locking me in this cell. Dear Diary, the only family member that I have left now is my sister Ismeni. My two brothers, Ediocles and Polynesius, couldn't make up their minds, which resulted in a war. With both of them passed, I now have a major problem that I need to resolve. My brother, Ediocles, had a proper burial, while Polynesius has yet to be buried. It will never be. This saddens me deeply. I wish to secretly bury him properly with Ismeni, but she is too afraid to. Sometimes I wish she was more outgoing and courageous like me. Instead, she's always quiet and follows the rules. I was told by many that Creon and the Sentry are angry at the fact that someone buried my brother. I hope that they don't find out that I buried him. Today's the day Creon and the Sentry have found out that I was the one who buried my brother, Polynesius. I'm wondering if anyone dared to tell them. The only person I told was my sister, Ismeni, who I thought could keep a secret. But maybe I am wrong. I am concerned because I know that Creon is taking me far away but I do not know the location yet. I believe I only receive a small amount of food. On the bright side, they are kind enough to let me say my goodbyes to my family and friends. Creon has stated that he is not killing me. He is letting the gods decide my future with only food. It could be possible for me to survive if the gods wish for that to happen. I could only die and have unfortunate things occur. It's all up to the gods, Antigone. It all began a war. My two brothers, Polynesius and Etocles, died fighting each other. Now I will never see them again, ever. Etiocles died with great honor fighting for his city, but Polynices turned against the city and will not be buried. He will rot. I will do whatever I can to bury the brother I love, Polynices with the soldier's funeral. Although my sister is many thinks I should not. Yesterday she screamed at me and we got into a fight. Our death would be if we should go against Creon and do what he has forbidden. We are only women. We cannot fight with men, Antigone. The law is strong. We might... We must give in to the law. She thinks no woman can stand a chance. How can that be? There's no way this in this universe that a man named Creon can take me down. So this is what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to bury my brother, and nobody's going to find out. Later that day, someone found out. Who could it possibly be? Of course, Sentry. She told Creon that she saw a little dirt covered over a body. Soon, guards take me out, take me in for Creon, and he arrest me. His many was there, and she tried to take the blame. She said, Yes, if she will let me say so, I am guilty. They will give me food, and now I will be able to be with my father and brothers. The gods will make their decision, and I will be with my family once again. My prison is dark and lonely. The stone walls make it cold and allow little light in. The only human contact I get is Creon's men bringing me food. I made the right decision, though. I would rather be here knowing my brother is buried than let him rot in the fields. He deserved a burial. Dear Diary, today I had to put my brother Edercles six feet under. I shall be punished, Creon said, strong to death in the town square. He wants the person who buried Edercles to be killed, and that is me. I will be punished for going against Creon's rules. I will soon be brought to a vault underground, locked away to suffer until my death. I do not deserve to die this way. I would rather be stoned than be locked away. I just wanted to show my respect to my brother by giving him a proper burial. Please pray that somehow I can get out of this. It's too soon. You laugh at me. Ah, friends, friends. Can you not wait until I am dead? Goodbye to the sun that shines for me no longer. I felt the need to go bury him, but she said, but think of the danger that what 
I think what Corinne will do, she would not go. 